What's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about a couple of things when it comes to the Saw franchise. Obviously I haven't been updating the channel in a long time and there's been a lot of considerable news. So just thought I'd take a couple minutes today to talk about it. I'm going to start with the most recent and go back a little bit with the 10th installment that's in the works and just my general thoughts on all of it. So let's just jump right in there. Okay, just jumping right in there. Yesterday we got news from Lionsgate Television Chairman Kevin Beggs about the possibility of a Saw television show. So if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know that I have talked about this rumor for a while now. It's not any real secret for anybody who's been paying attention. There have been conversations about expanding the Saul universe for the last couple of years. And one of the reasons that we know that this is true is embedded a little bit in what Beg said, and I quote, We've just wrapped up Dear White People, which was a really good experience. Blind spotting is coming up. American Psycho is in development. We're always exploring what to do in television with something like the Saul franchise. So that's a conversation. See, to me, one of the most important things of what he said there is with American Psycho being an active development as a TV series. One of the things that came up a couple of years ago, literally way back in 2014 or 2015, was that American Psycho as a television series was an active discussion over at Lionsgate's television division. Now, at least to me, I'm not entirely sure whether they're going to go in the direction that they reported on a couple of years ago when it comes to that particular series. For me, I kind of hope not because the idea was to have Patrick Bateman be kind of a mentor to a young killer and that just not really going well. And for me over the last couple years I've argued that the Saul concept has just gotten so overblown that the only way that you could possibly do it would just be to start over and tell the story between John and Amanda which is essentially that story. A serial killer teaching a younger serial killer to be more brutal than he ever was. So, yeah, uh, probably not going to go that route if the American Psycho television show is like that. But with all of that being said, I have to admit that those ideas about rebooting the entire franchise and literally having nowhere else to go because of the convoluted storyline was an idea that I had before the introduction of Spiral and the idea of literally expanding the universe beyond John. And I guess if the ninth entry of the franchise is a success, then just doing somewhat of an anthology show following all these other people who are either tangibly or intangibly related to John's legacy would be somewhat interesting and also give the show at least enough opportunity to live in that world while not being directly connected to the characters and storylines that came before it. It is also possible that Spiral or even the 10th entry of the franchise does set up something that would lead into somewhat of a mini-series to help tie up all the events from the first eight films or anything else before that to allow the franchise to basically continue without John or anybody else. In fact, I do have a fairly fun idea about what that could be, so cue the flashback. Now, this could simply just be showing the difference between times of day or even just setting the mood for various locations throughout the film. But what if it's a subtle hint that the movie will at some point, probably near the beginning, deal with some kind of past events before jumping into the present day? And maybe those past events, as seen at the beginning of the film, is the fallout of Hoffman's assault on the police headquarters and the discovery of the bathroom after the events of Saw 3D. I mean, if we're being honest, jumping around in time is just nothing new in the Saw franchise, and showcasing a moment as big as that would go a long way in building up Marcus's esteemed history with the police department, while simultaneously offering up a chance to see a cameo from a legacy character in Mark Hoffman. Then perhaps if Hoffman is introduced somewhere in the early parts of the film, the characters can go back to him in order to gain information on John's legacy, which could potentially set up a Tobin Bell flashback at some point during the movie, or at least help this film build on the continuity of the previous eight films. Another reason it is likely to assume that Hoffman could be in this movie is based on some of the promotional stills that we've gotten from the film. 
one of which shows Chris Rock's Zeke standing next to a bulletin board that we can clearly see indicates imagery from the Saw 2 house. And fans of the series will know that the Saw 2 house was later converted into a livable space, which many suspect is where Hoffman was living at the time. It is also directly connected to the bathroom in which Hoffman was left. So really, any indication that the police 100% found the Saw 2 house after the events of the original seven films means that they definitely found the bathroom. Plus, Saw 5 made it inescapably clear that Hoffman was the only one supplying John with the necessary police information, which by using Hoffman in this movie could be a very interesting way to wrap in this new killer who's specifically targeting police officers. Seriously, if he is still alive, Hoffman would definitely be the person to talk to during the events of this film. And as a long time, see if Hoffman is reintroduced in Spiral, especially if it isn't treated as a main character the rest of the story, then his criminal trial could be a perfect set piece for the Saul TV show that was kind of in talks, or at least rumored, a couple of months ago. For those of you who didn't see the news, there was a fairly widespread rumor floating around for the last few months saying that the Saw franchise was looking to extend its reach onto the small screen in the wake of Spiral's retooling of the franchise. While on that same note, Tobin Bell has expressed his interest in continuing to play his most iconic role in John Jigsaw Kramer, even though he's recently said that he thinks the character could be passed to another actor. As long as he's able to keep doing it, I'm sure he would be very interested. And furthermore, Josh Stolberg, one of the writers of the last two films, has ensured fans that he strongly believes that the story set up in Jigsaw will eventually play itself out in one form or another. So let me paint y'all some fun picture about the future of the franchise, one that of course should be taken with a very big grain of salt. But what if, as we've discussed, Spiral starts in the past to give Hoffman a cameo appearance before jumping into the present day. This would help to establish its connection to the greater series, but just boldly declare that the rest of the film is going to be its own thing. Then, if the film does well, Lionsgate can continue to straight up sequelize Spiral and continue that story in some kind of anthology series, or maybe just continuing with the mysteries that that film sets up. However, with having Hoffman come back and being alive in present day, it would allow the series creators to give themselves a little bit of wiggle room in order to develop maybe a special event miniseries primarily set during the events of Hoffman's criminal trial. Because if you ask me, I feel like one of the best things you can do with that setting is just tell a long form narrative. Criminal trials are just long stories either way as we're trying to convince the jury that these events happened and here's all the evidence and it just plays through in that way. And just jumping off that, the concept of displaying evidence to a jury and detailing the events of one trap to another as the viewer watches it play out on the screen in some kind of flashback would be a great way to go back in time and shore up a whole lot of plot holes that were created created with Jigsaw and the later sequels. And this would also allow the series to go back in a time when John, Amanda, Logan, and everybody else in the franchise was still alive and well, and we can take more time to explore their characters, their relationships, and how certain things came to be. And I think most important of all, one of the things you can do with that setup is finally find a different way to tell the story where you can go back in time and show John's relationship with Logan. And you can finally show show what Logan was doing during the events of the previous seven films, or you can even have Hoffman and Amanda know about Logan and how they deal with them. And I have it on pretty good authority that they did know them, especially with the people who were creating these characters and wanted to tell stories with them in the future, so I think that there is material there. Anyway, that's just really the point. There does seem to be a lot of great opportunities with this franchise going forward, and I think a lot of it starts with having Hoffman just simply be alive in the present day. For me, it would. With all that being said, and the biggest caveat on this entire video and discussion, I think it is worth talking about the recent news that broke that Lionsgate and Twisted Pictures are also planning a 10th entry in the Saw franchise. Now, while I've been very busy and not capable of uploading as much as I used to, I somewhat ignored this news and just regulated it to my Twitter feed because 
I'm not buying it, you guys. One reason being is that it's a little too easy for them to put out news stories like this with every new franchise talking about how this next film is going to be such a success or is so good that we're going to be doing a sequel immediately because we just have that much confidence. I guess at the end of the day, it really comes down to whether or not Spiral is a success. And at this point, it's really hard to say. The box office is lighting up with people wanting to go to the movies again, be it with the recent success of Godzilla vs. Kong or even smaller fare like Mortal Kombat or the Demon Slayer movie. And for me, that does say that there's a lot of built-up demand for genre content for fans who really want to get back to the movies for some kind of an event film. And while Spiral might not be that type of a film that should start off a summer movie season, we haven't had a big name theater only experience horror movie for a very long time, and this might be the movie to do it. Say if Spiral opens to around 25 million, goes on to make 40 or 50 million dollars in the box office during a pandemic, and that's just domestically alone, I'm sure Lionsgate will see the benefits of doing something like a 10th film. Now, even if Spiral disappoints at the box office, I feel like there's a lot more possibility for them to do something of a television show going forward than maybe another movie right away. Considering no matter how it does at the box office, there is a considerable fan base for this content and people who just like horror on television. As we're gearing up to see the latest Chucky series, there's been talks about doing a Texas Chainsaw Massacre television show, and as we already talked about, American Psycho. There's a lot of possibility there, and I do feel like doing a television show is a lot less dependent on the success of Spiral as a movie at the box office. Anyway, with all that being said, guys, what are your thoughts on Spiral as a movie, whether or not it's going to be a success in the summer movie box office season? What are your thoughts on the 10th film in the franchise, whether or not they're just building up hype or literally developing the next sequel or the Saul television show and whether or not Spiral Success or a future 10th film is going to lead into something like that? Tell me in the comment section below. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. It's been real.